I work with secular prophets. To me, our mistake in the church is we keep going to ecclesiastic prophets. Prophets have spheres of authority. A prophet that is in the ecclesiastic sphere is prophesying to the church about the church. When they cross over into governmental, Anna, they're actually assuming authority in a sphere that only God can give them authority in. So if you walk over, you're not going to automatically go to Isaiah and Daniel if you're called to be, you know, Haggai. You've got a different realm you're in. But in the governmental realm, there's a sphere. And by the way, in economics, there's a sphere. You very Mm -hmm. seldom hear prophets taking a chance, as they shouldn't, about what's coming economically except generically, unless they're called to business and economics. But what if God raises up prophets in media, prophets in government, prophets in economics? We happen to have them. And that's why Rush Limbaugh had 25 people, 25 million people listen to him, because he was a secular prophet. Jordan Peterson, Solzhenitsyn, secular prophets to academia. Steve Bannon, a secular prophet to media and government. He's the reason Trump got elected. Bannon joined his team and Trump's and Trump's election campaign reversed because he started going for building the wall and immigration because Bannon convinced him the populist message was what was going to get him in. But now these guys are all Limbaugh became a Christian. Uh, at the end of his radio ministry media career. Bannon is very close to, if he isn't already, actually being, I think, and right wing watch is on me now. This is the this is the ACLU Soros funded hit team. They're now picking on me because by the way, they're also after you. I noticed an article on you was on there recently. Uh-huh. But they came after me because I said Steve Bannon, I believe, has an apostolic anointing in the area of of government, and he's rallying the troops in media. He's having an impact. What I'm saying is the church should learn, and the prophets have to learn to go to the well and listen to the prophetic that's speaking in those verticals so that they can accurately hear what's being said instead of listening to Q and each other, which will go off. They need to go to the Bannons, They need to go to the uh, Petersons. They need to go to the secular prophets who are hearing God and prophesying. Churchill had more to say with discerning of spirits about Adolf Hitler than Amy Simple McPherson and Smith Wigglesworth had to say. Churchill was prophetically anointed as a Cyrus to protect the United Kingdom and the West. He saw the demons on Hitler faster than the church did. So we need to learn and to discern the secular prophets. God will raise them up. And if you're and if you're too stuck in the church mountain, you won't recognize when God's talking to you through somebody that's not in your tribe. 